Star pitcher Jose Fernandez of the Miami Marlins was one of three people killed in a boat crash early Sunday morning. The Cuban-born right-hander was 24. At 3.15 a.m., Coast Guard was out on patrol as they were exiting government cut. They noticed a vessel upside down on the north side jetty where we did find three males that were confirmed dead on scene. We are confirming that one of the victims is Jose Fernandez, pitcher for the Florida Marlins. Fernandez debuted in the Major League in 2013 at age 20 when he won National League Rookie of the Year and finished third in voting for the Cy Young, the award given to the best pitcher in each league. His 2014 season was cut short by elbow surgery, but he made a strong comeback in 2015 as one of the superstars of baseball. In April of 2015, he became a naturalized U.S. citizen. This season in 29 starts, he had a 16-8 record and a 2.86 earned run average, striking out 253 batters and 182 in a third innings, which could have made him a contender for this year's Cy Young Award. As you see around you, there is no words to describe how this organization feels. Jose was someone who we've known since he was a, uh, a drafted young man. And uh, I think that when you, when you talk about a tragedy like this, there are no words that, that come to mind. There's no playbook. There's no words of consolation. There's prayer and there's thought toward his, toward his family, toward his, his soon-to-be-born daughter. And you, you recognize that, how precious life is. There's just joy with him when he played. When you watch kids play Little League or something like that, that's the joy that Jose played with. Tributes appeared on social media as news of Fernandez's death spread. The Marlins game on Sunday against the Atlanta Braves was canceled as banners displaying Fernandez's name and jersey number were unfurled around Marlins Park.